Hey, good afternoon. My name is Major Tom Carell. I've had the privilege of being Vince, uh, Vince's TAC for the last three years. Uh, you know, part of why I came here to do this job was to meet and work with people like Vince. Uh, Vince is everything that I wasn't as a cadet, which is calm, collected, performed well, uh, got along with others, and really, it, it seemed like at will could touch something and um, it go exactly the way that it should. Um, and for me, that was the opposite of my, my experiences here. <laughs> but today's a, a pretty special day. Um, amongst all of the ceremony of this morning in, in graduation um, comes this moment, which at times can seem pretty anticlimactic, but it's really, it's really what it's all about. Um, and I thought the, the benediction today nailed it in terms of talking about everything that comes after this moment really being what it's all about. And so I, I first met Vince, like I said, three years ago. Um, and for those of you that know Vince, you know that he loves having nice things said about him in public. Uh, so I will attempt to give that my best go. Um, when he asked me to do this, I for a moment thought that maybe it was because he looked up to me physically. Um, I don't think that's why. It is. But uh, there, there's a few things that you can tell from Vince early on. Um, in, in all of the things that he does, like I said, just does them very well. There's no, there's no hoopla about it. It's just very straight. You get it as he calls it, uh, but it's done well, and it's done uh, very much with a deep-seated care for the people around him. Uh, Vince uh, abhors the, the spotlight. Uh, he very much prefers to move in the shadows and do things that help other people and make their lives better without uh, publicly getting any recognition for it. He, like, he likes a fist bump for it, you know, maybe a, hey, you did okay, but like that's it, and it can't be spoken of again after that. <laughs> and so there's a couple things that are very obvious about Vince. Uh, number one, he's very calm, right? I, I don't think in three years I really ever saw you visibly stressed about anything. Academics, anything down in the gym, uh, anything this, this semester, in terms of what your job was, it, it never happened. Uh, just always very level. It has a calming impact on the people around him. Uh, the second thing is his remarkable work ethic. And Vince has, I think, one of the most special things about him is Vince sees something and he sets it as a goal and then will relentlessly attack that goal until he owns it and surpasses it. And then people just look and they're like, he made that look kind of easy, but behind the scenes, it was just an incredible amount of hard work. Uh, you don't you don't lift the numbers that he lifts. You don't perform as he does on the ACFT. You don't get the grades that he gets unless you really want to do that. There's plenty of people that move through here in a very passive way, but Vince actively moves to obstacles and then overcomes them. And everything he does it is not. Uh, he's talented, he's intelligent, he, he's smart, but it is through hard work that he gets it done. And to me, that is one of the uh, one of the most significant things about him going forward. The Army at times is not easy, uh, but with, with some work ethic and, and caring and wanting to help people, it goes a long way. And so Vince, uh, you know, I've known him for three years, but here this semester, last semester he goes to Sergeant Ingstrom and he goes hey so here's the deal TJ's going to be commander and I'm going to be XO we're a package deal though you can't have one without the other uh, really tying our hands because we really like TJ but we were willing to take Vince <laughs> at that cost no but they've been a remarkable team and so one thing I've, I've seen you know you can look it on paper and you can see Vince what he does in the gym, what he does in the classroom. He's an exceptional individual, but he's a fantastic teammate, and I think everyone here can recognize that as well. Uh, and, and it comes not from this place of, hey, I want to get credit. It comes from a place of, man, I just want to help other people. 
I asked him what he wanted out of the Company XO job, and most people are like, I want to learn, I want to get better, which is all obvious, yes, but I want to help other people. And he's the only person I've had in however many interviews and six semesters that that was the first thing out of his mouth. I want to help other people. So if that doesn't tell you something about um, the type of the type of man and leader Vince is and who he's going to be, there's not a whole lot more, uh, I think, that you can say. So Vince um, is special. I think you all recognize that. I definitely recognize that. Uh, I think that the only reason you won't achieve something in the Army is because you don't try to. Yeah, anything that you try to, I am confident that you're, uh, that you're going to do. Uh, exceptionally proud of you, and there are some soldiers that are going to be really, really lucky to have you as a platoon. So, with that, we're going to publish the orders, make this man a second lieutenant, and uh, we'll do the oath. Publish orders. Attention orders. The President of the United States has exposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and professional abilities of Vincent H. Wilkinson. In view of these qualities and his demonstrated potential for increased responsibility, he is therefore promoted in the United States Army to the rank of second lieutenant with a date of rank of May 22, 2021, by the order of the Secretary of the Army. All right, let's give him a round of We're going to do the oath here, um, and then we will I'll give you the opportunity to speak. You raise your right hand. I state your name. I have been spoken to. Having been appointed an officer. Having been appointed an officer in the Army of the United States. In the Army of the United States. In the grade of second lieutenant. In the grade of second lieutenant. You solemnly swear. You solemnly swear. To support and defend. To support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Born and domestic. Born and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely without any, without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. For purpose of evasion. For purpose of evasion. So help me God. So help me God. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone. I want to give some special thank yous. Uh, first to Major Carell and Sarni for being here, for doing this, but also for being great mentors. Um, for being there for me for the past few years, um, really showing me an example of what an officer and what an NCO should be in the Army. And I know you guys are going to be mentors for me in the future and going forward, and I really appreciate that. So thank you. Um, next, I want to say thank you to my friends here, um, Colo, all my strength team buddies, everyone else, Gary, Ben, everybody in the company. Um, without you guys, this place wouldn't be what it is. I wouldn't be who I am. Um, you've made me better, and I really appreciate you guys. Um, finally, I want to say thank you to my family. Cole, I don't think I'd even be in the military if you didn't make me <laughs> look into it. I think you played a West Point movie at Grandma's house, and that was the first time I heard about this place. Or <laughs> Uncle Steve. So either way, thank you. And Dad, you know that you did half the application for me. Anyway. <laughs> um, so I really wouldn't be here without you. <laughs> um, but thank you to all of you for all of your support and your love, and I wouldn't be here without you, so thank you. Give a round of applause. Gary.